Oh, hi. Welcome everybody to this week's video, how to avoid being tired at work. My name is Nancy Matherly from Desert Haven Enterprises in Lancaster, California. I'm the employment specialist where I teach weekly job skills classes and I help people find jobs out in the community. Feeling tired at work is no fun. It can make you less safe, less productive, make your job less enjoyable, make you harder to get along with. Fortunately, I have some tips and tricks for you to help you stay awake at work more easily. Making small lifestyle changes help promote sleep and help you stay alert at work. Being tired at work causes issues with safety and productivity, as well as these other things. It can cause impaired judgment. You might not make good decisions. You might not make good safety decisions. Reduced productivity, that hurts teamwork. It could, if you are on a job where you have deadlines, it could cost you your job if you don't get the job done on time. Uh, you're not alert and not aware of safety hazards or teamwork issues. You might have a longer reaction time in a safety situation where you might not realize that something's happening and that's important. You might not remember things as well as you're supposed to. You might make bad decisions and do risky things that you shouldn't do and you're just tired and you can't think straight. You have a lower stress tolerance, get upset more easily, more stressed out at work because you're tired or poor communication because you're tired. You might snap at people or just have issues with communication because you are so tired all you can think about is sleep. You might have reduced physical capacity. You might not be able to climb those steps or climb that ladder or drive the machinery that you need to take care of at work. So fatigue is very detrimental to your work. And I have some tips for you of how we can prevent this at work. <clears throat> Five things I'm going to go over today. Getting enough sleep, eating healthy snacks, taking your breaks, exercise and other daily active activities and following a daily routine. Getting enough sleep. This is important. Get up in the morning and go to bed at night at the same times every day, even on the weekends, even on your days off work. Doing this sets a rhythm for your body. Do it for at least 30 days and then it'll start to come naturally. Continue doing it even after the 30 days but it'll be a lot easier. Uh, start by getting up at the same time every day, then every day, every day. Then you'll naturally start going to bed around the same time every day. On your days off, if you want to take a nap later, that's fine. Get up at the same time as you do for work, but then take your nap later in the day, and this will not upset your body clock. Get you can get that extra sleep, but don't do it in the morning when you want your body to be naturally alert and naturally awake at the same time every day, every day, even on your days off. Get up and do something fun, but get up at the same time every day. It helps. Here's some more tips for sleep. If you do take naps, make them brief, uh, 15, 20 nap. 15 or 20 minute naps are perfect. They're my favorite. It can help you feel less sleepy. It's scientifically proven that a 20 minute nap is better than a longer nap in the afternoons. Longer naps disrupt your ability to fall asleep at night where a 15 or 20 minute nap will not. Have a consistent sleep schedule and follow it all the time even on the weekends or the days when you don't necessarily need to wake up at a certain time. When you have a set sleep schedule, your body's internal clock starts to regulate. And as you choose a bedtime, choose when you feel tired normally. If you get enough sleep, your internal clock is regulated and you'll be able to wake up even without your alarm clock. For myself personally, if I do not set my alarm clock, I wake up about half hour, 45 minutes later than I would on a regular work day. I consider that a success. I don't, um, even when I, if I forget to set my alarm clock, I'm not late for work because my body clock is such that I wake up 
pretty close to the same time every morning, even without the clock. If you do have a night when you stay up later, such like on the weekends, rather than sleeping in, get up at your normal time and nap later in the day. This helps you get the rest that you need to catch up without disturbing your internal clock and your sleep rhythm. At night, be careful to the light that you expose yourself to. For example, if you're watching your laptop or your phone before bed, it can make your brain feel like it's still daytime. Try to stop using devices anywhere from two or three hours before your bedtime. I don't follow this one. I watch YouTube videos at night before I fall asleep, but I do make sure that my room is dark. So once I turn that phone off, then I know it's, it's sleep time. Keep the room as dark as possible. And if the phone is keeping you awake, then it is something that you should do. You should read instead or something like that, that it will help make you tired at bedtime. <clears throat> In the morning, if it's possible, take a walk. The exposure to the sun helps your circadian rhythm. That's the fancy word for that internal body clock, your circadian rhythm. It's also an energy booster. Take that morning walk, even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes. Get out and get some sunshine. Maybe walk your dog. But get out and get moving first thing in the morning. It helps you wake up. Restful sleep can reduce stress during these challenging times. Some of this stuff is exactly the same because this is proven, the proven methods for getting better sleep. Remove electronics from your, your room at night especially if they're bothering you. If you can get away with it and you're getting decent night's sleep, being on your phone till you fall asleep, then that's fine. But if you're not getting good sleep, maybe you should try not being on your phone right before bed. Second one, establish a sleep schedule and a bedtime routine. You start that routine, your body knows that it's almost time to sleep. Brush your teeth, take medications, read a part of a book, in my case, watch some really boring YouTube videos, helps me get to sleep. Um, but again, if the electronics are keeping you awake, then eliminate that, okay? Avoid eating or drinking 30 minutes before bed um, for various reasons, but mostly because you might have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you don't want to do that. You want to be able to sleep through the night if you can. Um, exercising during the day, helps you sleep at night, getting rid of all the extra energy that you have, doing a, getting a little bit of exercise or a little bit of activity during the day helps you fall asleep at night. Make sure your sleeping space is quiet and dark. If you're living in a noisy house, maybe you need to wear earplugs at night. Just make sure you can still hear the alarm clock. Uh, if you sleep in a room that has bright light coming in from some direction, you might get a mask. They're super cheap, like a dollar. Wear a mask to cover your eyes so that your body knows it's nighttime and time for sleeping. During the day, eat healthy snacks. This is another important part of staying awake at work. When your body is starving, it starts to shut down. So if you're out of the habit and you don't eat breakfast in the morning, try to have a healthy snack in the morning before work. Uh, try to have a healthy snack every two to four hours throughout the day. On your break, eat a little snack. At lunchtime, eat a little snack. You don't have to eat huge meals. If you're having a problem sleeping at night or having a problem staying awake at work, a healthy, nutritious snack will help you maintain your energy throughout the rest of the day. Cookies and candy and things like that give you very temporary energy boosts. But when that boost goes away, then you immediately get tired again. So a healthy snack is better. Fruits, nuts, peanut butter, cheese, vegetables, healthy snacks. Take your breaks. We all get busy at work sometimes and we skip our breaks. But it's not healthy for you. And if you want to stay alert at work, take your breaks. Plus, it's like the law. You're supposed to take your breaks. If you work on your feet all day, be sure and sit down for most of your break. You want to get off your feet, give your feet a rest. If you work at a desk, get up and walk around a little bit. Go to 
the restroom, take a walk around the building, but get up and walk around, maybe get a little bit of sunshine if you, while you're on your break. Unless it's an absolute work crisis, you should always take your break. Take your breaks. Getting exercise and having daily activities will help you sleep at night, which helps you be more awake at work. Get 15 to 30 minutes of physical activity every day. You can fit it in. You can fit it in around work. You can fit it in around your favorite hobbies. If you're playing video games, great. Take some time to get 15, 20 minutes of physical activity during your day. You could walk the dog, follow along to a yoga video, any short workout on YouTube. I've been posting them myself from Maribel downstairs. Um, follow along with the television workout. There's several workout shows on television that you could follow along with. Uh, you could join a sports league and practice every day and keep yourself limber so that you can play those sports. Take up swimming, tennis, other sports like that where things where you can go someplace every day. If you live in apartments that have a pool or a tennis court, get out there and play a little bit every day. Swim a little bit every day, right? 15 or 20 minutes every day is going to keep you more alert at work, believe it or not, because you're getting better sleep and you're getting good exercise. Following a daily routine. This is important for many aspects of your life. Getting up at the same time every day, even on your days off, going to bed, you'll find that you will go to bed at the same time every day once you start getting up at the same time every day. Eat healthy and get exercise every day. These routines will become more routine the more you do them to where you, you don't have to think about it. You're just automatically following this routine. That's what routine means is doing the same things over and over and over again. You'll get great results. With some simple lifestyle changes, you could be more alert at work, safer at work, and more productive at work. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.